The Western Ghats are also known as the Sahyadris and they form the western end of the peninsula plateau. Western end that means the western boundary of the peninsula plateau. The Western Ghats run along the western coastal plain from south from the valley of Takti. Now it is remarkable for any Eastern to know that uh, it cannot go on to move uh, from the north of Takti. It's simply not possible. Now this is something that the Eastern's will come to know while they're going to study the geology of India. But uh, to say that uh, right now, Takti was a rift valley. It is going to be beginning from the south of the rift valley of the Takti. The name of the place is going to be Khandesh. And it goes on to begin all the way from Khandesh in Takti to Kanyakumari. That is the southernmost point of the mainland of India for about uh, 1600 kilometers or so. The western side forms of a formidable wall like feature on the western side uh, that overlooks uh, the western coastal plain. Uh, the eastern side is very gentle. So the western side rises, goes on to rise abruptly. As it goes on to rise abruptly, the eastern side goes on to be very, very gentle. The Western Ghats do go on to reach an elevation of to 1200 meters, but some of the peaks do go on to attain heights such as Kal Subai, 1646 meters. And these Eastern Ghats, Western Ghats ultimately meet the Eastern Ghats in the Nilgiri Hills. The Western and the Eastern Ghats meet after meeting at Nilgiri, and southward of it they go on to be known by the name of. As in the British accent, we're going to be calling it accent, we call it as Anamalai Hills. But in a pure Indian accent, it is going to be called as Anamalai Hills. Finally, the Ghats terminate near the southern point and southern tip of India at Kanya Kumari. The Western Ghats form one of the four major watersheds of India, which happen to be the origin of many peninsular rivers. The major river systems originating in the Western Ghats can go on to be Godavari, Krishna, Tungabhadra, Tamraparni, Kaveri, and Vagai. Some of these rivers, like Manduvi, Zuari, Trakol, are some of those rivers that are likely to flow through the west. Despite the fact that their sources are on the crest of the Western Ghat, which is 50 to 60 kilometers away from the Arabian Sea. So, most of the rivers, almost all of these rivers eh, originate in the peninsula of India. They flow from the crest of the Western Ghat towards the east. This is largely because towards the east, eh, the slope is going to be very, very gradual. The Thal Ghat and the Bhor Ghat are the two important passes eh, in this range. That is the northern portion of it. Although, with respect to the passes, we are going to be talking about it. South of 16 degree north latitude, the Sahyadris are more rugged and run closer to the coast. And they are closest to the coast near to Karwar in this central region. The Western Ghats, which so far run close to the coast, join the Nilgiri mountains near Gudalur. Now the area that has to be marked out and the name that has to be marked out is going to be Gudalur. The Western Ghats rise again abruptly to above 2000 meters which are two of the highest peaks. That means it goes on to rise up above 2000 meters and these are the two high peaks in that Doda Beta is going to one of them that is 2600 meters and Makurti is about 2500 meters of sorts. Anamudi is the nodal point from which three ranges radiate. That means from Anamuri, there are three ranges that are radiating away towards the south. One of them is Anamalai in the north, that's one. The Palani in the northeast and the Cardamom Hills in the south. Utakmand or Udogmandlam. Utakmand has been a, a pub branch name. Uti is what has been an insulting British name given to this place. It's a popular hill station in South India and is located in the, the broad undulating valley at the foothill of the Doda Beta. Tamraparni rises near Agastamalai and forms a series of waterfalls, particularly the waterfalls like Mantaritham and Papanasam. On the southern edge of the Palni Hills stands a Kodai Kunal. So that is going to be Palni Hills. Now this is significant. Kodai Kunal and Palni Hills. Kodai Kunal and Palni Hills, both of them going to be correlated. 
So on the southern hills, of, uh, southern edge of the Palni Hill system, Kodai Kunal, and the hill station is uh, almost 2,000 meters, 2,200 meters high. There is a third hill station as well that is going to be in Iduki district in Kerala. It's the only hill station in Kerala that is called as Munnar. The Thalgat is located in the busy Mumbai Nashik route and is one of the four major routes, uh, rail and uh, road routes uh, leading into Mumbai. That means uh, Mumbai and Nashik are going to be connected to Thalgat. For a long time, the Palakkad Gap was the only communication link between the plains of Tamil Nadu and the coastal plains of Kerala. It is at present drained by the westward flowing stream like the Pannani. And that is significant because uh, Pannani is a, a very small stream in comparison to the length and breadth of uh, the Palakkad Gap. Palakkad Gap uh, lies between Coimbatore in Tamil Nadu and Palakkad in uh, Kerala. There are going to be some notable waterfalls uh, all along the Western Ghats. Uh. There are three notable waterfalls in the Western Ghat. Although there will be a series of waterfall if one goes on to go all the way from Mumbai to Pune and they are going to find a series of waterfalls in this region all along it. So there are going to be three notable falls in the whole of the Western Ghat. Other than this small waterfall, one can go on to find it littered all along this zone. In Goa lies the Dud Sagar Falls because the whole of this stream is so foaming that it goes on to be completely milky white in color with white fumes and white smoke also. That is uh, in Goa and south going to be the highest waterfall of India that is Gersopar, the Jog Falls on the Sharavati River. Now this waterfall, the Sharavati River plunges straight for 273 meters and when it goes on to plunge almost 900 feet from top to bottom, it carves out a, a 20 kilometer long gorge. That means beneath it, it goes on to carve out that deep gorge. River. The whole of this region is a part of a, another another place that is new Sholayar project. So Chalkudi River along with Atira is Atira Palli Falls is going to be in news and that is likely to be news for some amount of time to come as well. So three notable waterfalls are in that order. North Dudsagar, further south is going to be Gessupar, the Jog Falls, and further south is going to be Atirapaldi Falls, yeah, which descends in the form of a cascade. Indeed, it is the best example of a cascade in India. This description was at the UPSC level. Western Ghats, indeed one of these most important segments of the peninsula, and that is the way it has to be studied.